this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Sunday, May the 1st, 2022. Happy May Day. I'd like to thank my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Sagittarius? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Sagittarius. One of the deck, two of cups, true love, soulmates. First card out. The seven of cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This talks about having options in love. Uh, see this little um, cupboard? We have got seven cups. They all have heart-shaped eyes and nose. This talks about having options in love. You may be play in the field, talking to a few people, have a few people interested in you. You've got options in love. What is crossing this? Ooh, and passionate new communication. Eight of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is new, rapid, passionate communication. Text messages flying through the air, messages on social media, messages on dating sites. New passionate communication, consciously known, the page of pentacles, pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, pentacles are coins, money, see her purse, uh, money is green, this card is green, green vines, she's got a green headdress, a green printed dress. Pentacles are money, pages are messengers. This is a money message coming in. Unconscious. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are blue in this deck. She got uh, There's a blue background, a blue sombrero, a blue dress, blue flowers. She's got heart-shaped eyes, upside-down nose, and... A red and silver heart-shaped brooch. She's loving. She's caring. She's compassionate. She's a nurturer. She's a good parent. She's a good partner. Queen of Cups. Queen of Love. Recent past. New money. Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money. Aces are new. New money. A new job, a raise, a promotion, money from a side project, maybe you sold something, new money. Pentacles are coins, money, this card is green. We've got a green skull, there's moss on it, and a green grasshopper, new money. Near future, king of cups, king of love, soulmate energy here. King of Cups, King of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are water. Blue in this deck. There's a blue-black background. Blue sombrero, blue coat, blue flowers. He has got a cup. Heart-shaped eyes and nose. He has got heart-shaped eyes and nose. And he has a heart-shaped zipper tie. <clears throat> he's loving. He's caring. He's compassionate. He's a good... He's a nurturer. He's a good parent. He's a good partner. King and Queen of Love. Where do you find yourself? Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be dealing with a water sign here. Lots of lots of uh, lots of water energy. This talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. She has got a crown of skulls, purple flowers. Looks like they're crying. Walking away from something that, low no, bleh, that no longer serves. Sometimes, when things aren't working, the best thing you could do is to just walk away. 
walking away from something that no longer serves. External influences. The Ten of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about the end of a very painful cycle. This is like being stabbed in the back ten times. Not a happy card. But the good thing about Ten of Swords is the worst is behind you. Better times are coming. You've been through the worst. Now you're moving on to better times. Hopes and or fears. The victory card. Six of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Are you famous? It's like you're in a parade. People are on the sidewalks clapping and cheering. People are watching you. They admire you. Um, you may also have come some kind of a job where you're uh, where you do public speaking or something like that. People are watching you, admiring you, watching in a good way. The victory card. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Overall outcome. Six of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This talks about moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. You are leaving something painful behind and moving on to better times. Uh, this card reminds me of Don't Pay the Ferryman by Chris de Burr, where he that you um, are getting taken to the other side and wait till you get to the other side before you pay him. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. One on the deck, two of cups, true love, soulmates, divine counterparts. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got uh, blue in the back. They have their, they're holding on to each other. Their beautiful bright red heart shining through the rib cages, heart shaped eyes and nose, and the water from his cup is literally spilling into her cup. Isn't that gorgeous Im in imagery? My favorite two of cups. True love, soulmates, divine counterparts. Seven of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of wands talks about overcoming obstacles. Um, seven of wands could also talk about having your guard up. Maybe you have your guard up too high and you might want to let it down a little bit to let uh, somebody in. So overcoming obstacles, putting your guard down just a bit. Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This talks about drama. We've got our um, one, two, three, five green skulls. Uh, this talks about a pity play. Oh, feel sorry for me. Uh, I need your help. You're the only one that uh, the only one that listens to me. You're the only one I can turn to. I need a ride. I need to borrow your car. I need to borrow money. No, shut this person down. This is a pity play. You don't need this in your life. This may be what you're moving. This may be what you had to move away from. Um, this person. Uh, this person may have been using you. I don't know if it's a partner or a friend, but somebody was um, taking advantage of you and um, your generosity. You need to close, you need to um, block this person's phone number. Don't talk to them because they just, they just want to use you. Ooh, your card, Sagittarius, the temperance. I love it when your card comes out in your reading. The Temperance is talks about divine timing, having patience, trusting that Source, Spirit, Universe will give you what you need at its proper time. She's pouring water for, or liquid from one cup to another. She had a beautiful uh, red flower in her long black hair. She has got this dress, black, red, and green, and a transparent translucent opaque scarf uh, cape type thing divine timing having patience trusting that source spirit universe 
will give you what you need at its proper time. Queen of Wands. This may be your energy right here. King of Wands is Leo in my opinion. So Queen of Wands may be Sagittarius. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands. Wands are red in this deck. She got a red sombrero. She got a red uh, shirt. Red flowers. She also has these nut gorgeous hoop earrings and she's got a candle she's good looking charismatic fun to be with sexy and exciting queen of wands queen of passion queen of fire so options in love passionate communication a money message the queen and king of cups new money Walking away from something that no longer serves. The end of a very painful cycle, but the start of a new one. The victory card. People are watching you, admiring you. Moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters. Soulmates. Overcoming obstacles. You may have let your guard down, and that is why the king and queen of love have come in. Divine timing. The Queen of Passion. You walked away from something that no longer serves. It was painful. You're moving on. Um, and you need to keep this person out of your life. It's a big pity play. They want you to feel sorry for them. You don't need them in your life. A new life. Well, end of a painful cycle, walking away from something that no longer serves. A new life. She is on a pedestal. Um, it almost looks like she's waking up. We've got uh, pretty wings there. A new life. Poised. She's on a pedestal, and she looks like she's going to jump off the edge. But she's got wings, so she will fly. I like it. New life and poised. Seems like the start of a brand new beautiful journey. Observer. Um, this little fox has a telescope with the moon. Considering you have um, the victory card here, I will say that people are watching you. In a positive way I don't think this is a negative thing with the six of wands energy you deserve love you are lovable of course you deserve love Sagittarius flirt extend your lighthearted re energy to others options in love passion and communication and healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. As you know what I say, forgiveness. Forgive, forgive, forgive other people. Do not forgive for their sakes. You forgive your, for your own sake so that you can move on. The Hierophant. Ooh, commitment. King and queen of love. Soulmates. Queen of Passion. This talks about order, tradition, stability, the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship, engagement, marriage. I love it. And the Justice. The Justice. This is Libra energy. Um, sometimes this person is blindfolded. Justice is blind. Sometimes there's a law book. Um, in almost all of the Justice cards I've seen, there is the or there are the libra scales there are not in this picture um you may be involved in some kind of court case divorce child support you may work um in a court um lawyer judge stenographer you may work in the justice system police officer correction officer also this person has a scythe which means you may have to cut someone out of your life 
this uh, uh, Mr. or Miss feel sorry for me pity me everybody picks on me person walking away from something that it no longer serves end of a painful cycle beginning of a new cycle moving out of choppy waters into calmer waters leave this pity pity person the heck out of your life options in love passionate communication a money message king and queen of love new money the victory card soulmates walking away from something that no longer serves end of a painful cycle beginning of a new cycle moving on divine timing trusting source spirit universe will give you what you want at its proper time and the queen of passion new life poised observer moving on moving on you deserve love flirt healing family issues the hierophant commitment and the justice court case or cutting something or someone out of your life all right yeah king and queen of love soulmates moving on new money divine timing all right sagittarius have a great rest of your day i will speak to you soon this is amanda wilkson of amanda wilkson tarot bye for now